Good morning, everyone. Do, 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 do. Ta -da! Hello, everyone. My name is Jenny, and today we're going to be making some moose puppets. Yay! For Big Animal Week. So, for this, you need a couple different things. You need a cardboard box, some scissors, masking tape, white glue. You need brown paper and white paper, a ruler, pencil, some markers, and totally optional hot glue gun with grown up help, of course. And if you have some paint, you can also paint it and some googly eyes. Great, let's get started. So our moose uses our cardboard box, as you can see. So first we're going to be using our cardboard box. So for this, I just cut my box up already. And I'm gonna use a box that wasn't too big and it has this nice, these nice folds right here. And the shape we wanna get is a rectangle. So we're gonna use our scissors. So you can use just scissors like this, or I have these really handy dandy cardboard cutting scissors that are great, love them. And I'm just gonna cut down my box a little bit more, just straight across, because we don't need it so big. There you go. And now the sides. The sides don't need it to be as big as well. So I'm gonna cut those down a little bit. And also make sure this is a bit more straight. So let's cut it straighter. Because on this box, you'll see I left, I left the back open. So it's not like a full box. today is inspired by this really awesome mask I saw that I'll link in the comments a little later. It was a really big moose mask made out of cardboard and I just scaled it down a little bit and changed some things up. Okay, so now all I'm doing is I cut it down to the size I want. I'm just going to cut down these two sides a bit more. And I'm going to use the, the part I just cut off as a guide for how much I cut off on the other side. So they're the same size. So this is our basic shape for our mousse. The next thing we're going to do is cut out some triangles. I'm going to use my pencil and my ruler for this. We're gonna cut some triangles out on this side and this side. Cause we're making, we're making this shape right now. So to do that, I'm just gonna take my ruler so I have a straight edge and I'm just gonna draw down a triangle and I'm gonna cut that triangle out first. I have this triangle cut out and now I'm going to use it as a guide for the other side so that way they're the same size. So I just traced right there and I'm going to cut. It should look something like this. So now, when we put these two flaps down, we're gonna take this top flap now and push it down on top. So we're closing it up. And now what you can do is use your masking tape and you're gonna tape that in place. But tape it on the inside of your puppet. I'm just gonna take this in place. And another 
piece of tape. Awesome. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is, you can see I have all this excess up here. I'm just gonna trim that down so that they're all level. Or just about. It's looking pretty good. So I just taped in my my piece so it's lying flat now and together. But I can use some hot glue so it really stays secure. If you don't have hot glue, you can definitely just keep putting some masking tape inside to hold it in place. But I'm gonna use the hot glue. So of course do this with some grown up help. And I'm just gonna tape it, uh, glue it down, hold it together for about 10 seconds or so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. Oh, I think it needs even more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> well, we might need a little bit more masking tape. Sometimes that's needed. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. Let's do the other side real quick. So I might need to hold it down a little bit longer. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this down for a bit and maybe add some more masking tape on the inside to really hold it into place. I did just turn on my hot glue gun, so it might be not hot enough quite yet. So we'll see. But yes, we're doing a moose puppet and I love moose and I had a chance to see about five moose when I was in Maine, maybe about three years ago. And all the locals there told us, oh, you're not gonna see a moose. You're not gonna see a moose. And we're like, oh man. But then we were driving around and we saw five moose within 20 minutes. It was amazing. Saw two baby moose, a teenager moose. It was a little bit bigger and then a mama moose. We didn't get to see a bull like we're doing, but it was awesome. I did cry a little. It was very emotional. Okay. I'm going to add a bit more tape in, in the inside to really hold it in place. I think my hot glue gun is warming up a little bit more so we can just move on okay do some more tape there tape here awesome and I'll hit it with some more hot glue when we're nearing the end so once you have it together with the masking tape or the hot glue or both, you have your basic shape for a puppet. Now you're gonna draw on some features. So with your marker, I'm gonna use a black market marker for most of these things. And I'm just gonna do the snout. Do a snout like that. And then I can draw in the eyes if I want to or use googly eyes or I can use some of my white paper and cut out two circles. Which I'll do now. So here are two circles for the eyes. We can just glue those on top, but I'm gonna pause on that for a second. And then we have some other things we need to do. We need to do the antlers and the ears and the silly tongue. So I have my eyes cut out, I'm gonna put them to the side. 
Let's do some ears now. Again, I always like to do the trick where I fold the paper and cut out two things at the same time. So we're gonna do some ears. The ears kind of look like the U, a U shape. You can make them as floppy as you want. I'm just gonna cut down in half. We have our ears. And sometimes I like to outline it in the black marker. It always looks good. And then we're gonna make another U shape for the tongue, a little bit bigger. Like this. And now for the antlers. I drew them kind of like this, but there are different ways you can draw some antlers. Another fun thing you can do is to find some sticks outside and glue those on instead as the antlers. That would be really fun. Or even using pipe cleaners. So I'm just gonna draw some antlers with my black marker. Have this shape. And now I'm just gonna cut that out. And I might need to trim this down, we'll see. Now bulls, or male moose, they lose their antlers every year. They like fall off and they grow new ones. And the new ones start growing and like, they're very soft and velvety and they start hardening up later. Another fun fact are that is moose love to swim. They can swim for a very long time and even hold their breath underwater for 30 seconds. It's pretty impressive. Okay. Just going to fix some of my edges here with a black marker. And we have our antlers. And now for the other things here, I'm just gonna use this. I'm going to just outline the tongue. And again, up to you if you wanna do this or not. Do some lines. We have our tongue. And the ears I'm just gonna to outline too. And then the other ear. You can even outline the eyes if you want to. I'm gonna do two dots in the middle. Like this. And now we can glue all these things on. We can use our white glue for this, or I'm gonna use our the hot glue gun just really quickly. And I don't need a lot because I'm just gluing on some paper. We have our eyes. And then the ears I'm gonna put on either side. One, two. One. And to do that, oops, you can just fold it down very slightly. Okay. And then put glue on the folded part so they stick out like this. And we're gonna do the other side. My opera piano playing neighbors are playing the piano right now. I wonder if you can hear them. It's very beautiful. Okay, so we have our ears. And before I glue the tongue on, I'm just gonna glue down these spots a little bit more. But let's do the antlers real quick. So I'm gonna trim down my antlers just slightly more so that way it can really fit on the back here and be glued down. 
just gonna take my scissors and trim down. Awesome, okay. So I'm now gonna glue that together. Now the antlers are on, we have the ears, we have the eyes, our snout's there. Now I'm just gonna hit up the sides again, just to make sure they're really secure. Just hold that down. Sometimes when you're working with cardboard, especially hot glue, you need to hold it down a little bit more. Yeah. That's great. That one's staying great. Love it. Let's do the other one. Okay. We're going to do this side, really hold it down. <laughs> this moose has such a surprised face. It's very surprised. It's like, huh? Hmm? Now with the paint, the paint's really great. If you have paint, you can paint the snout. You can, what I did with this is I just mixed some brown paint with some water, watered it down to almost like a watercolor, and I just did splotches all over. You can do that. But you can certainly use markers. Even color pencils would be great for this. Okay. Get some of this glue excess off. The one thing about hot glue, it's all these little strings everywhere. So there is our moose. Now with the snout really secure. And I'm just going to add some more things. So two nostrils, like so. And I can take my marker, or if you have the paint, you can color that in. is a great brown already and I'm just going to keep it as is. So there's our puppet but we need something to hold on the back. So we're going to use some more of our cardboard that we have, some of the pieces that we cut off and I'm just going to cut a, a thin strip. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner than this. And as you can see on the back, I just made a little loop, or a little handle to hold. So that's all we're gonna do now. So I'm just going to just bend my cardboard to make sure I can make that loop shape. And I can put some masking tape and tape it down on the back or just use my hot glue. Very careful with this. And I think this card will be easier to put together. All right, let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And now I have our puppet. I mean, the last thing we need to do is put on the tongue. So I'm just gonna glue it right underneath where the snout is, right here.
have it. There's our mousse. You can join this other mousse now. <laughs> and then one more thing you can add is just curl up the tongue a little slightly so it sticks out a little bit more. And ta-da! There's our mousse for a big animal week. Thank you for tuning in. Oop. My name is Jenny and I'm with Wonder Spark Puppets. And we've been, we are doing all these uh, workshops every day. We do them Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. And on the weekends at 10 a.m. I'll be back tomorrow with a different craft at 10 a.m. We also have a weekly show we do on Fridays at 11 a.m. And the last show we did, uh, Fox Fables, will be up on our stream for the next week. So check that out if you didn't check it out already. Um, you can check out everything that we have on our website at wondersparkpuppets.com. We are offering puppet telegrams as well as live puppet chats. We have a membership page where you can get um, lots of perks like a discount to our store and access to some live streams. So check that out as well. And we also have a weekly raffle. So for $10, you're entered into a weekly raffle that um, you can win your own private live stream of the show. That sounds great, right? Awesome. Um, and please, please, please share your creations with us, all the th fun things you've been making during Big Animal Week. We love to see what our master crafters are up to. You can tag us or hashtag Wonderspark Puppets. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of this beautiful Saturday. Bye. Whoop.